Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Strawberry Hill Podcast. I'm your host, Mike Simmons, and we are here at the lovely The Shop Cigar Lounge. Like I said, if you haven't visited us before, please come down and come visit us. And so, let's get this started. We got the crew back. Yes, sir. We got John John. Hey, hey. We got George. I don't know if you ain't got no nickname. Nah. Nah, nah. nah. Just, just, and then... I'm not calling you by your stupid ass nickname. Oh my god! I will not, got I Marcus. Will, please, I will not talk unless he calls me. What's, what's my nickname, John? John? JS. There we go. JS. There it's we go. JS. Was it Jesus Shuttleworth? No. no. What does it stand for? What did we come up with? I don't even know what we remember. Exactly. Was, you don't even Jesus know why we call you JS. But JS Shuttleworth. sound cool. You know it don't. It don't sound cool at all. You ain't got no family member with just nick. With just I do actually. I do have an uncle. TC. JB. Yes. It's TC. <laughs> How you know that? <laughs> My grandpa named OC. OC. That's so I'll tell you. So I have a very country family, right? Okay. They all from Dumas, Arkansas. Mm. Shout out to Dumas. I've only been there like one time in my life. <laughs> Wait, don't go back, Mike. I, okay. Uh, you, have you ever been to Dumas? Nah, I have not. Right. So Dumas got a I have a population of 100 people. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah there's like 200 people and 75 of my family. So I got Aunt Frida, okay. Aunt Helen. Mm. Aunt Maple, yeah. Uncle Odell, yeah. Uncle TC, they from the south. Uh, yep. Uh, the south. Uncle Ike, yeah. That's yeah. it, Odell. Oh, yeah. And then Odell. My, my grandpa Esau, yeah. Yep. I mean, I yep. Oh, I, I know that cookout was lit. Well, all right. the names, yeah. Yeah. country right. names, yeah. right there. Yeah. Oh, cookout. So what what does JS stand for? Uh, I mean, you don't it even a know. lot of things. Uh, you know, we just leave it at JS. You know, JS. I don't even know what my grandpa's real name is. Your grandpa's real name? Yeah, I think it's OC. OC? I think my grandpa named OC. Grandpa OC. Mm. There's a boy, Otis Charles. That's going to be Otis OC. Charles. Right, right. It's going to be OC. OC. Yeah, Otis Charles OC. Johnson. Like, hey, OC. <laughs> yeah, you ain't call me. I bet your name is Nick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you call me OC. That got to sound a lot better. Othello Christian John. No, just OC. Yeah, it's OC, baby. <clears throat> so, we were talking about this before we got on the mic. We're going to settle this debate right now. Me and John John talking. What's the best... Uh, not, this sounds wrong because it's four black people together, but I don't care. Mm-hmm. The best Kool Aid. He said red. I don't think that's true. Purple. I'm. I'm. See, you say purple. purple. Everybody got something different. Red. I'm a blue and orange. What the f- red? Why? Why red? Because you don't know the flavor. Mm. You don't know the flavor of any of them. What's purple? What's purple? What's purple? What's purple's purple. purple. What's purple's what are you talking great. about? That's great. Red's cherry, stupid. No, it is. It is. It is. What cherry. What is red? Cherry. Is it cherry? It yep. is cherry. I thought it was watermelon. It is nice. ruined. What? No, they got watermelon. Of course you would say cherry. watermelon. Because I'm black. Stereotypical. <laughs> so hold on, hold on, hold on. So we all, we and him said red. What you say? I said orange. Who? You said purple. Purple. Wait a minute. Who is making orange Kool-Aid? I guess that's just I, at I my don't, house. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Can you not afford the other 10 cent pack? No, you don't. You don't never go to the store and say, you know what, get that orange one. You nah. say, get, get nah, the red. That's, that's no, the one I prefer. You, you, hold on. You get the red, you mix it with some lemonade. I ain't got, I ain't got, I ain't got me and you here, JS. We that's here, what baby. I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Now, how do you make your Kool Aid? Uh, a lot of sugar. Now, here we go. <laughs> a it. lot of sugar. Yeah. Sugar first or? So, hey, watch this. Now, I do. I do sugar first. Okay. Now, watch this. You do hot water at the bottom. Hot water, not hot water, but like warm water to mix it up. Sugar. You didn't see that's I, that's how I know you get. No yeah. hey, stick to, or, stick to orange Kool Aid. I see what's going on. Stick to orange Kool Aid. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a Piper Kool Aid guy. Yeah, stick to orange Kool Aid. Have you ever had the blue Kool Aid? <laughs> yeah, the blue Kool Aid. I have all Kool Aids. Oh, hey, you know what the funny thing is? So actually, you know what? I didn't even have Kool Aid. It was what's the the off brand? It was like Jammers or something. You know, Kool Aid was thirty cents. I think Jammers was like ten cents. Days ago, you better get that one. Money. Ten for a dollar. I'll take it. I like the They taste the goddamn same. Back when, back when Audi was the old Audi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, back on thirty eight. Yeah, Jammers didn't mix right. Yeah, nah. <laughs> That's why you had to do it. You had to do sugar, and then the Kool Aid packet, and then the water, and then the rest of the sugar. You had to mix it all together. How many cups of sugar you put in there? A lot. You, there's no you can't, you can't measure. Yeah, you can't, yeah, measure, you okay. can't measure sugar. You just okay. you do it until okay. it's it tastes right. It's a taste. Yeah. Okay. It's a taste. Okay. Okay. That's fair. So you said red. Red. Cherry. 100% red. I didn't think it was cherry, though. I really thought what, it was watermelon. What it's flavor exactly did you think it was? <laughs> watermelon, seriously. Watermelon. Yeah. Because you don't look at the flavor. You just know to get the red package. If Why you in the ever world came I'm, back with, to, I'm with him on that. If you came back to the house with orange if Kool-Aid. If you I'm, think, if I give you a red piece of candy, uh huh, what flavor do you think it's going to be? Watermelon. That's the stupidest thing in the world. <laughs> I'm not in this. <laughs> I, I knew it was cherry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And it's just like an off-brand. Like, if I give him... 
a purple piece of candy, you're gonna be like, I'm oh, I think that's a guava. It's no, I'm automatically assuming <laughs> it's green. So eggplant. what's green? Green? Yeah, I've, I've never, never seen, seen green Kool Aid. Green? Never seen green no, I've never seen green Kool Aid. Yeah, I'm sure it is, green. but I've never seen it. Green might be the green watermelon. apple or watermelon, watermelon. Actually, you might be right. Green might be the watermelon. I've never seen green Green's apple Kool Aid. I'm not saying it don't exist, but I've never seen green apple Kool Aid. I don't. Green apple Kool Aid sounds. I want to hear a funny story. There was a store that was selling Kool Aid slushies, and they stopped after February. Mm. Oh, the, the sales took a hit, huh? Mm. Hey, sales took a sales hit. Took a hit. I, I can sales, believe that. I, why would sales take a hit in February? No, 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 no. After, February. after February. Uh, yeah, you know what? Oh, that's uh, fucked up. We told that. Yeah, you, know we <laughs> you know what's funny? Because I was going to bring this up. I was going to say, what's the most racist thing that's happened to you that's actually kind of funny? Oh, oh hold on. This is I, I got You should have sent me this question, Mike, so I could really no, no, so I'll, get I'll, in deep thought. I'll, I'll, I'll go first, just to just to. Yeah, prep everybody because I've had multiple. This I had one, one that happened to me today, and yeah. it was really. <laughs> oh, well, no, well, let, 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 you go first. It then. was really funny, but it was so mean, but it was funny. Uh-huh. <laughs> God damn it! So, uh, at an undisclosed location. Okay, undisclosed location, like black a professionalism site. jazz. Black site, black site. At, 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 at a professional place, uh-huh. right? We kind of deduce where this place happened, right? Yeah. At work, this guy was calling me the N word. <laughs> I said, "Hey, man, why you keep calling me that?" He oh, was ninja. Like, he was like, "Hey." Cause the color of your skin. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna talk to you like it should be talked to. Okay. <laughs> Yo, the most racist thing ever, but it was so funny. I, I didn't even get mad. I laughed. Uh huh. I thought it was hilarious. Damn, I gotta give you a story. This funny. is good. That uh, was funny. All right, what about you? That work stories are mean. I can't do. No, that wasn't mean. Story. I thought that was funny. No, nah, but they be, they be going in on me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, my dog dark skin, so you know his Ride jokes be a little worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the only difference between you lips. and midnight is eleven fifty nine. They really go like, in bro, on his jokes. Chill, bro. I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> they, say, they say you look like under the bed. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you look like after the night. <laughs> Bro, so you gotta you gotta eat chocolate chill. with white gloves so you don't bite your hands. That's I'm sorry, I'm like, bro, chill. I can keep going. Chill. <laughs> chill. Hey, chill. Right. By the way, none of this ever said so. We just out here just making fun uh, of yeah. man. Uh, hey, sorry. they took their liberties to get on me because I be getting on them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so nothing for you? Nah. So I hate like we talked about this before. I hate eating certain things in front of people. Oh yeah, we can go on I'll and be, on about I'll that. I'll be at work. I'm like, hey, what what do you guys want from Minsky's Pizza Place? I'm like, give me some wings. They start looking like. Bro, why you get wings? I don't like pizza that much. I you get should wings. never uh, see. I don't, there's things I don't eat in front of people, or not in front of people at restaurants. I don't ever order chicken. Nope. Ever. Why not? Because I, I don't want to be that this. guy when you yeah. order chicken mm. and the wait the waiter the waiter's just like mm, I knew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in the back, having their little jokey yeah. jokes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I figured. So what Guess do you want today? The, the wing chicken. Basket. The chicken. The chicken's really good. <laughs> but the chicken's really good. I'll, I'll take the salmon. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not ordering it. I, even, there was one time it came out, it looked so damn good. I was like, damn, I should order that. Give but, me you a know. steak. So what if you go to a restaurant that's known for chicken? I I don't know. I guess I'd... What, I would, like Chick-fil-A? <laughs> I mean, you kind of like, got to get chicken. Uh, you got chicken. Nah, chicken. Nah, like, let's say you go to Popeye's. What you order to Popeye's? Popeye's? I'll just Surf get the turf. biscuits. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Give me some biscuits with a large cup of water. I, I know they dry shit. A large cup of water. <laughs> to dip them in. Yeah. They got to soft them up. I like mine but, soggy. You know, speaking of food, which is funny, and so one of my friends, so I grew up in an all-white town, right? Okay. And so I had friends, and most of them were all white. And so one of my friends was like, hey, Come over for dinner. You know, my mom's going to cook dinner. I'm like, cool. All mm-hmm. right, whatever. I've been over there multiple times. Just never ate dinner. <clears throat> so I get there. She's like, hey, dinner's ready. So I'm going downstairs. And it's him, his brother, his mom, his dad. I sit with them. They're eating. And I, I kid you not, it is fried chicken, mac and cheese, watermelon, mm-hmm. grape Kool-Aid. Oh, Lord. Those are the four mm-hmm. options I got. You I am mm-hmm. not thinking anything. I'm just like, oh, mm-hmm. cool. It's like my house. I'm just going to eat. This is it. Yeah, this is it. I was like, y'all grubbing like this. And so I'm eating. And then my friend being my friend, like we like five minutes into it. He was like, mom, why are you, why'd you cook this? She's like, what do you mean? She's like, he's like, you don't ever cook like this ever. (laughs) You'll never cook fried chicken. I was just like, huh? (laughs) I was like, oh, oh, this is the, because I'm here. They're like, yeah, I thought you feel comfortable. I was like, damn. I can't really knock Mama for that. Cause, Cause you imagine if she tried to cook something I, that but you I did. did like it. Though. Okay, so it was it wasn't like I was yeah. offended. I was like, ah, you know, it's not, it ain't too bad. <clears throat> but going on the lines with like some that so that, I guess that would have been one story. But another one, I went to a. I'm not going to say the restaurant's name. Okay. Went there. And this goes along the lines of food. 
I'm ordering food, or I'm ordering a drink, right? She comes over. She's like, hey, get everybody's drink over. Order. She comes to me. She's like, hey, what do you want? I was like, hey, I'll take a lemonade, right? It's my standard vine drink, and I'll take a lemonade or water. Me too, Mike. She's like, hey, I ain't got lemonade, but I got strawberry pop. Ah. I didn't think twice. I was like, sounds good. And I just went back to my menu, and my friend's like, oh, shit, that was racist. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? They're like, out of all the other options, she said, strawberry pop. I was like, pop. yep. It was I was good like, hell yeah. She didn't offer a Coke, not a Pepsi, <laughs> not, a, not a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> strawberry pop. That's strawberry pop. That hey, it was good. It, it hit different. <laughs> no, it hit. It hit. <laughs> what about you? I can, let me think. Okay, the one that I can say that I was, uh, it was a proud moment. I wouldn't even call it proud. A, it was a moment I was just like, all right. So we were talking about Kool-Aid earlier. So my homeboy, I won't say which homeboy it was. We at his house. Isa. Uh, hell no. <laughs> so we at his house, white friend of mine. We at his house <clears throat> and... Um, we eating lunch, or about to eat lunch. And uh, he was like, I don't know why my dog was just like, man, you know what? I want some Kool-Aid. And I'm like, all right. But his mama heard him say, oh, he, I want some Kool-Aid. She goes, oh, go ahead. I'm sure John can make it. I just look back like, I mean, I can whip up some you know Kool-Aid. You know? <laughs> so I guess that was a moment where I just was like, ah, fuck it. Come on. Let me show you how to do this. <laughs> and I'm, I'm telling you, I know my dog teaching his kids how to make real Kool-Aid. You know what I'm saying? Because he was a white guy. You know, they Kool-Aid be. You can see through the. You can see through the container. You know, that Kool-Aid ain't nothing. If they I follow the directions. Nah, nah, they follow the directions. <laughs> yes, you know what sure. I mean? I had never followed directions for anything like Kool-Aid. And when I was making her face was just like. Like, uh, sir, you're going to get diabetes. You damn right. Type 2, baby. <laughs> diabetes Sir, we just in. bought that pack of sugar. We, 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 <laughs> we need that. We're going to use the whole thing. Up in this moment. So I can say, yeah, if, if, yeah, that's my moment. I got, yeah, I'm glad I came up with one. I'd have felt left out if I ain't had one. <laughs> so. <laughs> that was a good segment. Yeah, that was a good segment. But <laughs> anyway, so I like to, to always throw this in when we start. How's everybody's mental health, right? So one to ten. Marcus, will you start off with you? Man. Uh so you gotta think positive, right? So I am um um I don't like saying seven. By the way, don't nobody give seven out. Nobody says okay. seven. What's wrong oh, with seven? Oh, you just gonna because seven is neutral. Seven is one of them neutral numbers. Five, five or neutral. six be neutral? Nah, 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 nah. Seven is Seven is too seven too neutral. A chick that's a seven? Let me ask you a question. If you say, yo, hey, hey, rate that girl one to ten. And somebody say, and somebody say, seven? say seven. I'm on that. She other. No, she not. Yes, seven. She is. Oh, yeah. okay. You know what? We'll stop she, right okay. there. She, stop, stop, stop your mental health question. Okay. We'll go right to that. Okay, okay. yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I like yeah, good that. Let's readjust. Okay. Let's, there we yeah, go. Let's readjust. We'll, we get back. That. we'll get back to your mental <laughs> health here <laughs> shortly. Right. Scale to one to ten, a girl. Uh-huh. When are you talking? Mm. Now be honest. Now you said seven is neutral. Seven is neutral because if I if I saw yeah man she's seven. What do you, you mean? You'll be, like, be like, ah, okay. there's only three well, numbers higher than that. Yeah, but but seven, you stop eight, it? nine <laughs> ten. You stopping at a seven? I'm not stopping at a seven. See, that's what I'm saying. You said you stopping at seven. Uh, see, all right. That yeah, means that like, man, anything cool. lower than that is not good. I yeah, think it's the way you sell it. He's like, ah, she's a seven. They're like, well, she's a seven. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, you got to sell that seven. So, oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Better question is, what's the lowest you're going? See, now See, that I, is subjective. Go ahead, I Mike. Currently that is subjective. Sir. I am too. But what's the lowest you're going? Uh, like a, it depends. I don't know if I can answer I'm going to say mine. <laughs> no Maybe we should uh, switch topics. No comment. <laughs> Okay. My lawyer advised me that yeah. we're not going to talk about this currently. Let me just say this, JS. I've, I've had some dark days, okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. I spent some time on some back blocks. Couldn't see the light. Okay. <laughs> back blocks. Yeah. <laughs> Doing what I had to do. Behind okay. the bar. Just, hey. Yeah. Yeah. You at yeah. the end Five of the night. Like, uh, you know look, what I'm saying? You. Ah, come so on. when you ask what, like, how low you'll go, it's subjective on how that night then went. You had three threes, didn't you? Oh, I knocked down a three. Oh, I take down bro, a three. That I just, sick, but listen, bro. I won't tell Two y'all. Though. Tell. What do you mean you gonna tell me? If I get a three, I'm not telling nobody though. Why not? Why because it that ain't for everybody's ears and eyes to see. You don't need to see me at my low point. It ain't your low point. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's just a point that happened in your life that you. Nah, I heard. Hey, I heard Dave Chappelle say that man. It was funny. He was like, "What did he say? He said, if, if if what if I went out? If we went out or whatever?" And I was like, "Hey, man, I, you know, I, I messed with this this ugly girl or whatever." And then you see a tape. Of me messing with the ugly girl, like, hey, man, you know, that's not what we do or whatever. I would judge you. Like, if you told me that, I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. But then if I see a tape of it, I'm like, hey, that's right. we, we don't do that in this group. See, now, once it gets out, that's when it gets bad. So that's fine, but you can yeah. still tell us. Yeah. Nah, because then, you know, we like to hold over each other's head. Nah, you Yes, right. we do, Mike. Yeah. Nah, nah, yeah. nah, nah. Yes, nah, we nah. do. You get, nah, you get to this age, we don't give a shit. Uh, okay, I, this is OG status. Yeah, as long, long as you get So listen, my, when I met my wife, she was a nine to me. 
A nine? Yeah. Okay. Ten is hard because that, that's okay. just perfection. Ten is just impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ten is impossible. Yeah. Sleeping on the couch. But she was like a nine. <laughs> you said what? Sleeping on the couch. No, 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 no. That'd no. be a ten. We gotta be realistic, right? Okay. So you yes, be yes my wife is a ten to me for sure. Okay, right. But when I seen her, I was like, oh yo, this is a nine. I yeah. this is probably the best I've dealt with thus far, right? Mm-hmm. And so now everybody like, so when you say a seven, you're like, ah, okay. That's but a seven's only two points lower than a nine. Yeah, but. So you're saying there's, there a, it's either you an eight or nine or you ugly. Because you don't do tens. Yeah. Can't do, no, you don't, you don't do tens. tens. Oh, you don't sevens, do tens. Sevens is eh. So eight or nine, beautiful. After that, you just ugly. Everybody you kind of drop off. Yeah. You kind of drop off after that. It's so long. Ain't no like neutral girls that you're like, damn, she cute. Nah. You can I mean, be cute like, and be a five. You said what? You could be cute and be a five. It could just, it's just basic cute. Like, just like, oh, man. Okay, baby. Keep in mind. Now, I'm delusional because I think I'm a 10. Oh, I think I'm with you. I'm go. with you, Jay. You know what I'm saying? Out the gate. Okay, out the gate. You think I think I'm a 10. You know what? I'm glad so, you think so, you're a 10 because me and you look alike. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so, when you, you, so when you say seven, like, ah, man, she three under me. I can't, I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't do well, that. She was a solid. She, I, she three I under can't me. Date you know the help. <laughs> I don't date the help. Yeah, I can't see now. Help. Really so, sound like a light skinned dude right now. You know what I'm saying? Your haircut take me up, though. I like to say I'm a six on a regular day. I'm just out regular. That haircut? That Christmas what, line? What, a 9 or 10? Oh, I'm 10, because I'm going to go to Target and the Superstore. Y'all are Superstore. Got to be the regular one. You go to one in Johnson County. I'm telling everybody where I'll be at. But yeah, you're so, right. So how yes. much are you paying for a haircut? Uh, I pay 40. You pay 40? Yeah. So I was just talking to my wife about this, right? I just took my son. Me and my son went to go get a haircut. I spent $70. Yeah. $70? $70. $70. $70. The new barber? Keep in mind, I don't have hair. What you spend $70 on? My beard and his haircut. Yeah. Okay, so that's two. That sounds about right. I okay. thought you was okay. I, that's, that's what I thought, too. I thought like, no, no, I just mean my son. So, like, she was like, what's the price? I said, well, I know people that pay $60 for one haircut. Yeah. I know people that spend, like, $150 for a haircut. So the I normal got a podcast. He charged 85 so, so is that the normal rate? Dollars. Would he go to your house? No. Nah. Make you breakfast? He cut the cheese players, so you know his prices. He, he got the Kool-Aid going, then he sweep up and mop the, and then he go home? What do he do? Yeah, he make the Kool-Aid for you. He the Kool-Aid, sir. <laughs> Extra grape for you. <laughs> So back to this, y'all think y'all are 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that haircut. For sure. Without a this doubt. This is crazy. Can't sure. tell me nothing. My beard is patchy. So if any barber can, yeah, get, this, any barber can yeah. get this right, and that's what oh, I'm, I'm saying. It's crazy you think you a 10 the way you're looking right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm well right now I'm probably like a seven. A seven. Right. See, you so, you know, see, so you see, wouldn't deal with yourself sevens? right now. So you wouldn't deal with yourself. You wouldn't deal with yourself right now. Nah, I couldn't, man. If I would see me in the mirror, like ah, so seven is ugly though. Yeah, he is seven. You know what I'm saying? Seven ugly? Seven ain't ugly, but seven's like, nah. Seven nah. circumstances. No, seven's a no-go? Like, so you not, you wouldn't mess with a seven? Nah. This dude is, is wild. Seven's circumstantial, though. Because you That's see what a bad, Say I pull up to McDonald's. I'm like, okay, let me get my usual. And I pull up like, oh, she kind of cute. Bro, she at McDonald's, though. It don't. Bro. Nah, I'm, bro. Why she, does it matter? <laughs> Another segment. That's not attractive, bro. Them arches is not attractive. You wouldn't mess with a McDonald's worker. What is she? Bad, are you though? are you trying to date? Or are no, you trying I'm to? Just talk? Saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not dating nobody working McDonald's. Why? I work too hard to get out the trenches. What's wrong with you? What do you mean? You, you got to build them up to get out the trenches. That's they need your help. What's wrong with McDonald's, that's, man? Bro. That's a good woman, though. Yeah. McDonald's is delicious. They got McDonald's everywhere. I'm McDonald's probably make more money than half the people here. Yeah. Not me. Sure. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> talk as you <laughs> So you wouldn't talk to a woman that work at Aldi's. Nah. Family Dollar? Hell no. Nah. Dollar General. <laughs> if she had Family Dollar, she got warrants. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll me. We get that taken care of, you know what I'm saying? I know somebody. John, John, the bond you have come. John, John. Ah, was, I got that to what is it, John 10%? John, John, the bond. 10%. John, John, the bond. Yeah, yeah, 10%. Yeah, yeah, John, John, the bond. Yeah, yeah. John, John, the bond. John, John, the bond. John, John, the bond. I'll take care of I got you. A little parking ticket. Yeah, a little parking ticket. Maybe a warrant. No, you said she worked at Family Dollar. Yeah, she, she Yeah, but a lot of people don't know if you pay 10% of the bond, you liable for it. So if they miss court, they take it everything of yo. Deal off the table. So <laughs> yeah, I hang I with OGs. Do that. <laughs> learn something every day. Stay family dollar. Yes, sir. Uh, stay your ass there getting in trouble. That's one thing I did learn about going to Walmart because I don't really go to Walmart no more because you go in there and you hear your last name. What does that mean? Half the time that means, oh, yeah. they know me from work yeah, or yeah. I arrested this person. Yeah. Are you sitting It's like, I'm just going to keep walking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how <laughs> is that encounter in public when y'all... Wow, now that's a good. Hey, give a, me the wave. Don't don't shake. I'm not shaking your hand, bro. Hey, you good? We good. Let's go. Mm, it's, it's it start, I mean, I, I was normally I'm I'm was mostly cool with everybody I okay. came in contact with. 
But there's always you're always running to somebody that didn't like you. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, and, can you please be nice people? Because they think I'm you. Uh, that's, oh, that's <laughs> it's the best of thing. When we work together, I'll be going to a unit or something, or just I they be like, Simmons like, no, nah, this is Johnson. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> And they'll believe Write it. Me they'll up. believe it too. I'll walk in the next day. Hey man, F you Johnson. Come on, I didn't even do nothing, bro. All the time. Every time they're like somebody's about to write me up, they're like, man, what's your what's your commission number? What's your name? My name is Deputy Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> J.S. Johnson. This is my number, my commission number. J.S. Johnson. J.S. Johnson. This is my phone number. You can guess me at this address. <laughs> so going back to your mental health. Now now we back on that. Since um, you saying sevens and whatever, whatever. I'm a seven. You're a seven. You, you said can't say seven. No, nah, nah, I'm a seven. seven. You can't go back on you. That was a good, you know. No, nah, I'm a seven. Okay. My mental health is a seven. See All how right. it don't sound good? It do. Is that yours? <laughs> seven don't sound good, right? Hey, bro, get the get the straight jacket ready, bro. <laughs> He's a seven. He needs nah, Jesus. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty up there. Um, you got to think positive, right? So as long as you're thinking positive, yeah. uh, you remain positive. So you got your days, but can't let your days string together. So I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty good. Right now, I'm pretty good. I want you to... Drop some knowledge on everybody and tell everybody the quote that you told me. Oh man! So I was reading, been reading, that, which a lot is lately. A, a new thing for which for is JS. a new thing, right? Yeah. Right. He just so learned my, how to read. My goal this year was to read twelve books, right? Okay. A book a month. So I read this quote, and the quote said, "It said, um, it said, it's the it's the man who plants trees for the shade he'll never know." Mm. And I thought that was dope. Yeah, I thought so, and so. Once I read that, I was like, hey, man, that's kind of break it down, kind of see what the meaning is. Uh, so that's what, that's what I'm, I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to make sure that I do things that I don't see, <clears> that <throat> my kids, grandkids will see yeah. down the line. Yeah. Uh, and so, so be, thinking negative, being negative, that's not going to help down the line. All right. right. So that kind of played into my, that played into my answer, my mental health. So what number did you say you were? Um, if I had to give it a number right now, I'm like at an eight. Eight. I'm like at an eight. You sure? Right now, in this moment. In this moment, you're in at this eight. moment right now, I'm like at an eight. I give it an eight. Solid eight. Good. George? About an eight. Solid eight. eight. Oh, it's, get it's, your it's, own it's, number. It's an eight. No, it's I'm always I'm always a high, high energy, high thinking person. I'm not I'm not gonna let a lot keep me down. No matter how bad it may look, I always know there's always worse circumstances. So mm-hmm. I'm like I'm blessed to be doing what I do, how I do when I do it. So stay at eight. Steady at an eight. Stay at an eight. Yeah. John John? Good, because, you know, I was going to cause a ruckus because last time I had to go first. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. I'm I know. You I, remember I my, learned my, my lesson. My dog. Uh, I, man, I'm not going to say eight because both of them said eight. Say man, seven. I can, say eight. Just hope. everybody saying eight. I'm going to say nine. Oh, damn. And Are I'm going to say better? nine for this reason. Explain. I got you. Man, I've just been happy as hell lately. You know what I mean? Like, I can honestly say, like, day to day, you know what I'm saying? I've just been happy. You know, I, I don't really... Life gone life, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But man, I just been, I wake up every day, I just be smiling. Child, I got even the women in my life confused. Like, what the fuck are you so happy for? I, I, just, I just feel good, man. I ain't really got nothing to really be complaining about. So I say, this the happiest I've been just because, I mean, my mental, you know, that it's starting to get stronger and stronger. So, like I said before, I just wake up every day, I just be happy as hell for whatever reason. So that's, that's my good. I'm going nine. That's good. Ten yeah. to be, I don't know what to make. A little chick, maybe, but then she may take me down to six. You know what I mean? So never mind. I've been trying to hook up John John, you know. Talk about that on camera, right? Oh, my bad. John John is single, y'all. She she worked at McDonald's. No, no, no. Oh, he don't care if she worked at McDonald's? But I wouldn't. It's a girl at Walmart who I see all the time. I be thinking about stepping on. Hey, wait. Which Walmart? I ain't going to say which one because I don't want you looking at me weird. Oh. She's a cashier at Walmart, though. You know what I'm saying? I make sure she sees the, oh, the amount of groceries I'm job. getting. She's a cashier at Walmart. Nah, nah. They only got three cashiers. of them. That's what I'm saying. It's rare. She's she just standing there with that... the little with the little phone. Oh. Make sure you ain't stealing nothing. She ain't no cashier. You know what I'm saying? Ah, so, so you know, you she know, like lost her mind. So you, stuff. Stuff. <laughs> hey, you love her, but you just played her up. You don't even know her. That's cool. I mean, yeah, just, <laughs> she got a good job. You know, she got a good job. She don't. Yeah, she cashier at Walmart. Her instincts are on point. She making sure. And then the one I go to is heavily Mexican populated. So you know, she got to be on her shit while she up in there. Sorry. He's Sorry. 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 I know. Damn. It ain't, it ain't, yeah. Damn it. And it's a shame the whole city knows what I'm talking about. Hey, he be, he be going through a line buying $500 worth of groceries. Yep. Return that or not. He return 300 <laughs> Drop like, the same really, car like, I don't need to be here if I don't want to. I really don't need this cinnamon toast crunch box. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, Mike. 
I'm gonna put this back. Man, she know I'm balling. Come in twice a week. You know she be singing me. I'm saying get my heart done. You are balling if you go in twice a week now. Hey. Yeah, I don't want you live by yourself. Go twice a week. Ah, because you know I don't like to buy all my shit at once, Mike. Because I'm I'm a, I'm a wasted. So I break it up and go yeah. twice a week. Just meal prep shit, and I waste it like a dumbass. You know, I buy in bulk and be like, it'd be the sixth day, and I'm like, damn, I wasted that whole pack of ground beef. And so, yeah, I, I split it up twice. Trial and error, you know. You meal prep? Yeah, I do. What you, what, what, like, what's your meals? So it's either, so eggs in the morning, chicken for lunch, salmon at night. Okay. What, say that again. Say the last. Egg, salmon. Say, Am I saying it wrong? Salmon. Yep. Salmon. You know what the hell I'm trying to say. Don't pronounce I'm trying to start some shit. The book of Salmon. <laughs> Here we go. go Pronouncing go every letter drive, drive. of the word Salmon. <laughs> now y'all know how black people are. Y'all know it's either we ain't gonna we gonna we either gonna keep it short and not say the whole or word. We gonna mess it up. Salmon. Or, or we gonna say the whole or thing. Or you say Chipotle's. See what I'm saying? We either Chipotle's. gonna finish it or cut it short. Or, or Aldi's. Aldi's. See, yeah. It is Aldi's. It? it is Aldi. Are you sure? See, it's it all D. There's no S. Black people say all D's, though. Yeah, we're going to Aldi's. My son Aldi's. got me, though, bro. I said, we're going to Aldi's. He said, where are you going, Aldi's? Nuts. I said, oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, all is it really nuts. just Aldi's? <laughs> it's Aldi's. I think he's it's lying. no S. It's no he S. He don't even shop at Aldi. A L D I. No S. Who don't even shop at Aldi? Where do I shop at? I don't know, but not Aldi. Where do I shop at? Target. Target? Sam's Club. Ain't nothing to shop at Target. I do shop at Sam's High V. I shop at Sam's Club too. I ain't no High V in Wanda County. I gotta go. I go to Wanda County. So is it Sam Club or Sam's? No, it's Sam's. Sam's. It's Sam's. Sam's. It's Aldi's. It is not Aldi's. It's A L D I. Thank you, Aldi. Man, don't act like you know. You stay back over there. Right, pulling up technology. You put yourself on camera and show that you pulled that up. Right. We don't hear debate. No, we don't even know real facts. We not using. We're not using Strawberry Google. Hill facts, right? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we learned last time that we got to make sure we have a fact checker. <laughs> our, ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for uh, our Gates comment. Yeah. Ah. Jeez. And the chain Lee Gates right? is not a white man. Like, we know we were just fucking around. I, I didn't, audience, I didn't know. Yeah, you know, you I'm did. not from around. Yeah, no, they're don't, not going to drag me in. I'm not from around here. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. I had to go with what they told me. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. I, it and then, like yeah, and then, by the way, not one person. I ran into or talked to you, knew what the hell the St. Louis rice was. And I'm glad because, like we said before the cameras was rolling, it is a delicacy. Yes. It's okay? a delicacy yes. that no one knows about. Yeah, it's a, it's, that's it's what makes it a treasure. delicacy. How does that make it a delicacy? It's a hidden treasure. It's fried rice. Hit, there you go. Chicken no, no, fried no, no, rice. No, no, don't do that. Beef no, fried no, rice. No, no. Shrimp because, fried rice. Don't do that. It is fried rice. Don't do that. But I'm saying, though, is you know it's topic because we're going to talk about it in 30 minutes. Look, I'm going to just, let me just get through it. Let me just say my piece, okay? Is it a It's a delicacy found you know, on the you know on the borders of the Mississippi River. You know what I'm saying? No different than when you go to the Amazon jungle and you're looking for a certain thing, okay? <laughs> you must take that drive, okay? That sounds okay? like the best damn rice I've ever You damn right. right. What you do is you go to St. Louis. It's a hidden commodity. You know what I mean? You can't yeah, just find on. it anywhere. You know what I mean? You can't just find Black Panthers anywhere. You got to go to the jungle to see that. I did look at that. Your damn dirty ass right. You damn Panthers. right. Every Chinese spot I looked up in St. Louis had no windows, bro. None of them. And I it, thought it was it, an abandoned place. You ain't, on lying. you ain't supposed to be able to see what's going on in there. <laughs> Listen, when you walk in the spot, you know you did. Okay, let me get my food and get and the hell leave. out of here. That's not a spot for you to be in. It's not a dine in spot. You are a crazy individual if you go eat some St. Louis Chinaman and dine in. That's not safe. Right. It's one of them spots you take two wallets. Yeah. So when you get robbed, you give them the fake one. Yeah. You, go. you call in. That's the St. Louis way. You call. You never place your order and then wait because it's going to be a 20-minute wait. And that's dangerous. You call in your order, so you hop out, get your rice, get in the car, leave. And the 20 minutes is a setup. Dang, 20 is minutes it, is, setup. is it that dangerous? I mean, all the be. best spots are in the hood. And each hood got a Chinese spot that they swear by. So it's like, I don't even go to certain Chinaman spots because it's on the west side or something like that. It's like, ah, they don't know me up there. Have you tried the rice here? I wouldn't. I wouldn't dare. Oh, how I would dare. I wouldn't dare. The the rice that y'all serve in KC is peasant food. I wouldn't. (laughs) Oh, there we go. Y'all don't even care nothing about it. No, no, there ain't no delicacy. You don't care nothing about it. Yeah, you just go to Pad Express if you live in uh, KC. You don't need to go nowhere. All the Chinaman spots out here, you don't even go there. What's that place on the... was that 78th Street? Man, come on now. You know what I'm See? talking about? Talk about the buffet? Nah, nah, nah. It's uh, a <laughs> the Nari's. Nari's. Uh, Nari's is good, but that's yeah. like 
high quality. Yeah. Minari's is fire. I bet it ain't better than St. Louis, right? I bet you it is. I put it to the test. I bet you test. anything is better. I no, bet you Texas Times true. See, I is wore better than St. Louis. My damn St. Louis hat. I knew this hey, was going to happen. Don't happen. sleep on Texas Times, bro. What's Texas Times? No, 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 no. Go to yeah, sleep on Texas Times. Go to sleep on it? Yes. Go to sleep on Texas Times. Oh, Texas Times ain't it, huh? You will go to sleep when you eat that food. The itis kicks in, bro. Texas Times is like a. What's that place uh, that serves everything? It serves everything. Uh, they, you, just, you can go no, there and get it. It's a, just uh, Texas Tom. Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. It's the hood any version place that of Jack in the Box. Any place that serves tacos, burritos, burgers, yeah. enchiladas, and everything pancakes. else. Pancakes. Hey, <laughs> they gave me sweet and sour sauce thing. with my tacos one time, bro. <laughs> they gave you what? Sweet and sour sauce with my tacos. <laughs> they didn't know. They was confused. I tried it. Never uh, again. You know, Mike, we're going to have to take this trip, man, because I'm tired of you talking about something you ain't never had before, I've been to St. Louis once, or no, twice, but the last time I went, I went for Mardi Gras. You should go to East I St. Louis. I had a good time. I, I did go to East St. Louis, which is, it was. Why would you go there, though? I, I didn't, because that was just where the strip okay, club was. I got you. Ah, <laughs> that is a fact. You ain't lying there, Mike. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. I am not going back to St. Louis. The disrespect. The disrespect. Just a disrespect. Well, so, so John's going to get us robbed down there. I know. Well, you're going to be with the boy. You got to experience mean? the real experience here. It don't is fall the real experience, but I got wallet. y'all. I'm a St. Louis veteran. I, I, it, it, John's not going to be like, don't fall for the first wall of tricks, boys. Listen, These I These guys got have two or three baby, wallets gonna, on a piece. Jay Eston already been, you know what listen, I'm saying? I'd have yeah. been to St. Louis. I've been to East St. Louis one time. And the one time I went to East St. Louis, uh, I think I told you about this. We was coming back from Tennessee. Mm. And I didn't know I was in East St. Louis. I walked into a gas station, and it was two Bulletproof glass. Yes, sir. I said, oh, yeah, I'm in the wrong spot. If you I'm, went to East St. Louis, you fine in St. Louis? I, I don't know about that. Now, this is facts. I'm not saying, you know, I don't mind going down. Right, right, right. right. But, you, <laughs> listen, okay. So, we want to go to St. Louis. To try to rice. Some, just eat some rice. I eat y'all for your barbecue all the time. Ah, you go out compare our barbecue. Here. Let's not get in this conversation. Uh, okay. Here. You live here. Don't get, <laughs> our, what you mean? Yeah, you our barbecue here. is world renowned. <sighs> Who is doing the voting, though, bro? Everybody. Who's voting? Come on, yeah, let's keep it gay. So who's every, voting? Every cooking it's show, a, every food show, we have our own World Series of barbecue here. I don't see Is there a World Series of dirty rice in St. Louis? What we just talked about rice. for the I'm last sorry, five minutes, Mike. Melanin rice. It is a, it's a delicacy. You don't just find delicacies in those everywhere. You find KC barbecue everywhere. <sighs> it's that good. Barbecue ah, that good. They got to have nah, it. Nah, it's that good. good. <laughs> and I know. It, you know it's it, a delicacy too? Caviar. You think, you think I'm buying somewhere to fucking eat caviar? Hell yeah. When you ball it, Mike. I ain't balling. That's what I'm saying. When we balling, we're going to take us a ghetto fabulous trip to St. Louis. Have you ever ate caviar? I ate caviar. It's not very good. What is it? Ain't it fish eggs? I thought it was fish eggs. Snail eggs. Smokes. (laughs) Right? It is smoked fish eggs. It's fish eggs. I thought it was. was... Snail is escargot. That's what I'm thinking of. Mm. Yeah. Wait a minute. They fry up snails? Sea snails had a big. Here we go. You ever had them? Snails? Yeah. That's some nasty shit right there. No. Nah. They, they don't fry snails. No, they, they put they put seasoning on, put them in the oven. They, but they're good. Yeah, they're delicious, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold that's on. That's what escargot is? Yes. You mean the shell? That's or nasty shit. No, the, the, the actual, actual meat itself. inside of it. You're yes. lying. It's not, bro, I thought it, for some odd reason, I thought it was like eggs or some shit. No. Me too. <laughs> it sounded like some bullshit. Escargot. Hey, escargot. And now, man, no. Who the hell would like OG hey, escargot? OG escargot. I don't think I want to be rich. I don't think I want to be rich. Caviar. You don't want to be rich. I don't want to be rich. If we got to eat escargot. You don't have to eat it. Is it for status why people get I guess. caviar? I guess. Where, it. It where was you at where you was eating snail? In L.A. And they just got snail on the menu? It was my 15th birthday. My dad said we were going to a good restaurant. Stink, the escargot. stinking rolls off of Sunset. So we, got, we got a steak. Oh. Escargot. I was like, okay, let's try the escargot. I didn't want to try it at first either. There's six of them on a little. It was beautiful. And he said, He's you got to try it. I was like, bro, this is this in a shell. Like, I don't want to do this. So just try it before you judge it. I tried. I was like, man, this is good. You know the worst thing that I'm don't eat? sound good at all. The worst thing I'm gonna eat is good. chitlins. You said what? I will not eat chitlins. Hey, that's the worst huh. thing I'm gonna eat is chitlins. Oh, come on. So you, so you do eat it? Yes. No, nah, hell no. So you won't eat snails, no. but you'll eat the intestines wait, wait, of wait, an animal. Wait, wait, yes. wait. Yes. yes, yes, yes. This is a black yes. ass episode. I just want to let y'all yes. know. <laughs> you don't eat chitlins? No, I don't eat chitlins. Why? I eat chitlins. Because the smell when they clean it. You don't eat it when it smells like that. I know this. I know. I know. But the same reason why I don't eat ass. Why I don't eat chitlins? You understand what I'm saying? I know what transpired before I, my mouth got to it. Okay. Hey. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see you bathe. That is a good point. I, but at least you cleaned the chitlins. 
before you eat it. I understand. So I mean, and okay. And eating ass, you cleaning it. Why? Are you, so, are, you, are, you, are you monitor? <laughs> so to eat ass, you must monitor the bath time. Yes. If she go in, come out in three minutes. Ah, right, baby, you need to soak. You need to really <laughs> sit in there, Epsom salt. A little you know what bigger. Saying? Oh wait, y'all make them take a bath first. <laughs> That's what oh, he did, Patrick. Yes. That's why he did, Patrick. All right, JS. That's what you tell her yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's why your beer patch is missing some spots. You get that, that funk in there. A little yeah, spray. Uh, ooh. Wait a minute, is that the key? Because I've been trying to get my shit. I need. Okay. No, nah, you losing you want, it. You want a beer? <laughs> no. I do, but I don't. I just want this right here, bro. I just want this to, you no, know. No, I want to go back to this chitlin thing. Okay, go ahead. So you don't eat that just because of the smell? Like, yes. Have you ever had it? I have. Who the, cooked it? My grandma. And you don't like it? No. Why? And if grandma made her own cook, I you know it. You put some hot sauce and some mustard on it? All of that. I couldn't do it. Wait, 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 wait. What'd you say? Yep. You put mustard on it? A little bit That's of mustard first. and a little bit of hot sauce. You no, mix you, it together. No, you make a bowl of hot sauce. It's really hot. It's really like 60% hot sauce. <laughs> 40% that's, bathed, that's, that's too much hot sauce. In hot sauce. Yeah, that's too much hot sauce. It's almost like a dip. You, <laughs> you dip it in hot sauce. But I only eat chitlins on, what is it, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Easter. I think that's the only three times my grandpa cooks it. You don't eat on the 4th of July? No. I'm joking. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> to celebrate the independence yeah, of America, you, you we got to eat, eat chitlins. You don't eat independence day? Eat this slave food, yeah. goddammit. George, you eat chitlins? Yes. So everybody eats chillins, but you. I think it's a. I think it's a, a generational thing. I don't think nobody after eighty nine eats chillins. <laughs> after eighty nine. After eighty nine, nobody eats chillins. I will tell you this. Actually, that I don't think true. anyone born after eighty nine will ever cook chillins. That too. No, that that, really, that's that gonna die out with us. Because that's a fact. I, I, can't cook I like chillins, and I will <laughs> never cook it. That's real. I'm not cooking it. I'm not cooking I'm it. I'm not cooking it for that. For the same reason you don't eat it, I ain't yeah. gonna cook it. Shit's nasty, man. It ain't nasty. Used to pain my heart watching grandma stand in front of that pot. You eat menudo? Say it again. You eat menudo? No, no. What's that? No, do oh, you eat man. menudo? No, I don't. What is it? Menudo is fire. It's the. What is fire. it? I'm not gonna tell you until you eat it. Okay, a, I, y'all cooking menudo? Every Sunday. It's a soup dish. It's oh, delicious. this is Sunday. Latino Sunday. shit. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, you do that. Makes the best stuff. Okay, well then bring it down here. See, that's what every black person says. So you gonna eat menudo? I try. All right. Every, you eat St. Louis rice. I would. All right. Because you ain't never tried it, Mike. And I'm tired of you dissing that rice and you I've never tried it. I've had fried rice. No, you've had fried rice. You've never had St. Louis rice. That's what what, what about. do they do? Pissing it? What's the difference? I don't know. You got to talk to the Asian people behind. They don't talk to us. They don't even speak English for real. They send yeah, the they person do. out front hey, who speaks the best English. They talk just like you. Mm-mm. No, 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 they no, no. A, they got a heavy southern accent. They just talk tell like them. Because he been there. Yes. These folks you go, don't speak you go no in, They know what you want automatically. This is what it sounds. No, I'm not going to do that. Don't do it. I'm not going to do that. I'll do it on my podcast. Hey, 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 I don't hey, want hey, my hey, dog to get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, thank you. But they don't really speak no English, though, Mike. Like, literally, you come up, it's like a broken English conversation. It's uh-huh. like, because, but they just know what you're going to say. Half order, you know what I mean? Whole oh, here order. we go. Yeah, a little bit came out. I'm sorry, y'all. Shout out all my people, you know what I mean? You got to cut that. My bad. Cut it. Cut it. Uh, my bad. Let me just shut the hell up. See, I be getting emotional. I, be, I started Keep sweating. Keep going, John. John. Tell when us Mike what. talk about our rice, bro, it bothers me. Because I don't say nothing about y'all. Y'all over-polluted ass, goddamn me. A barbecue here. It's too many spots to go all to. Right, all right. So, what's your favorite spot in, uh, in Kansas City? Okay. So, at first, it was Joe's. Okay. So, I met Mike. Let, let, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So, I met you, Did and you he put me slaps. on the slaps. Yeah. Now, ain't nobody fucking with slaps. Okay. So, let me tell you this. If you going on a date with okay. a girl, where are you going to take her? Q39. Now, I'm not, you can go anywhere you Wait want in the world. Or in, in Kansas City. Oh, I thought you were talking about barbecue. No, okay. no. I'm switching it up. Anywhere. Okay. Where are you going to take her? Anywhere in the world. Days not anywhere in the world. I'm sorry. Anywhere in KC. To On a date. Yeah. What female is this, Mike? Is this my joint from Family Dollar, or is this a joint I met in here? Is this in the here. McDonald's chick? The one, this- see? Okay, the one I met in here. Wait, what's, what's the difference? Aren't you going to, shouldn't you take the one from she, McDonald's? She don't to require all the, nah, nah, nah. She okay, don't okay, I got you. She don't know better. Little, little, little trip to Chipotle, she, she good. She don't need that. I mean, she don't need none of that. All right, so If here. I meet a chick in here, I'm, let me see, favorite spot. Giving away my spots now, man. Anytime I want to be playing, look, Cooper's Hawk. Cooper's, oh, Anytime I want to be played. That's a chain. I know you don't, don't go to a Cooper's chain. Hawk ain't no chain. Cooper's Hawk is to a chain. No, it ain't. Yeah, we got one in St. Louis. Too. How many locations? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to stop going to Cooper's Hawk. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not wrong about that. I, I Cooper's Hawk, yeah, because we got, what is it, more than two? Is that the definition? There's, they're all over the country. Okay. Yeah, Cooper's Hawk, when I want to be played. Go to Tannin. Y'all know I've been here with my OG tennis. players. Tannin, not Tanners. Tanners. Yeah, because I was going to say Tanners. No, I went to college. Take them to Tanners Bar and Grill. I heard the wings are fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got to get a BOT. 
With the they ain't large got no coat. escargot there, but they what got, was they the got mic? Hey, tannin. Sometimes you tannin. gotta settle. T a n i n. <laughs> tannin. Okay. All right. You, you think at Cooper's Hawk, that's a wine place, right? Tannin's a local spot. That's a winery. Not a winery. It's a it's a wine bar, and they have food. Okay. All right. Well, see, Mike, see. Or, uh, are y'all gonna go around the room because I'm gonna take notes if y'all. Yeah. Can. Here we go. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> huh? First date. Where are you taking somebody? My first date, I took my wife to Cascones. Okay. So I'm talking about right now. Room. Now that you. Uh, don't Ca- Cascone's, Cascone's all right. No, it's, it's not worth putting in the notes. No, no, it's good, but it's, it's good. It, I would it? do like Garozo's. It's an Italian restaurant. Garozo's ah. or El Centro. I've been there. Yep. Been where? The one that started with R. The little Italian joint took me there. Garozo's? And then what it's called? The G. Garozo's? This is the one that's on, I don't know where the fuck it's at no more. You don't okay. know where anything is. No, it's off Metcalf. You talk about Sinsetti's? <laughs> Damn, I got the shit mixed <laughs> up. <laughs> See, I'm dealing with too many women in my life. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Yeah, hey, hey, man, hold on, brother. Yeah, now you yeah, pinpoint yeah. shit. Hey, go, go, to, go to Cinzetti's. <laughs> Cinzetti's, the, the, the Italian buffet. Yeah, go to Cinzetti's. <laughs> she took me. I mean, look. Not going to lie, Cinzetti's is actually really good. It is if, for a buffet. Yeah, it's really good. All right, Marcus, where you going? Now, I'm not talking about where you've been. I was talking about where you're um, going. If you was giving John John advice, what would you tell the young was, brother to go? Okay, I would tell you to go. Um, <clears throat> so I've been to El Centro. Yeah, I've been there such a that place. They got great salad dressing. Okay, really great salad dressing there. I know it sounds crazy, oh. but I actually went and got like a. Who like says a, it? And they really have great. They salad really got great salad dressing. Their salads but are delectable. If, if I had to go somewhere, <laughs> um, man, there's a lot of places I would go. Uh, Don't cheat me now, JS. I ain't gonna cheat you. I'm trying to think of a, a good place that I've actually been. Um, it's a place in Prairie Fire. What what they serve there? Uh, Rock and Brews. Nah, it, we went there for a restaurant week. I don't fucking know. That's when I went to the Italian. No, that's not what they went to. It's actually next to the. Is it Italian? Bar. I don't think it was Italian. No, like Southern inspired. Nuh uh. Because I like going to the brass onion over there. Brass onion. Yes. I'm thinking of the brass. Yes. Onion. What was it? Brass the onion. Brass onion. Brass onion. Yes. Brass onion. I, took my, onion. I took my heart to the brass onion. Brass onion is actually really good. Yeah. It's actually really good. For the Texas joint tonight. You want to go to the brass onion with me? Yeah. 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 It's real go good. Go to go to La Bodega. No. Yes. Oh, now that sounds like something right there. Yes. Feel that, Mike. L A. Oh, is it La Bodega? Yeah. Spell it. Okay, gotcha. I can do that. F A B O L A U S. We were just talking about this earlier. You know that motherfucking fabulous? We were talking about that. Had everybody spelling fabulous wrong for years. That's not how you. Oh, it's not. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you, I was see, like, I, I was in it. It's spelling bee. <laughs> Mike, spell fabulous. F A B O L O U S. Hey, you rappers, you know, y'all got to. Y'all, y'all wrong. Gotta, yeah. Y'all Check got influence. <laughs> fabulous, I can't believe that, brother. I thought, and that's how I won my little spelling bee. I was just uh, remembering, you, you know. You definitely won it in St. Louis. They're like, yeah, that sounds good. See, there he go. <laughs> Is y'all education system better than ours? Uh, I would Ooh. assume so. The hell no, because you're not going to do Johnson County. So. Y'all trying to do Johnson County. I'm not going to let y'all do that. That's, that's, that's in Kansas City. No, 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 because y'all don't claim that. Uh, uh, all right, we, we still go KCK. Sumner is one of the best schools. Lee uh, Summit is, huh? No, I no, said no, no, no. Sumner. Oh. I graduated from Sumner. Sumner. Okay, when I, I take that from back. Sumner, Sumner ain't did that great. See, look at <laughs> that. I graduated from Sumner. I think we was ranked number. I want to say, and I'm not. I, this might be exaggeration. People from Sumner don't don't give me the line. But we we might have been. I'm gonna say top fifty in the nation. They even hit them comments. Boy, hell no! I was with you in class. <laughs> we was top fifteen. I, th- I think we was top fifty in the nation. Can you look this up, bro? About the school systems, bro. Please, bro. But you, think, you think? I'm sorry, people from St. Louis. But you think St. Louis? School system's better in KC. It depends on what you're talking about. If you're just talking about... Because, look, okay, you can't compare St. Louis to a Johnson County. I'm Whenever y'all say her, like, I just can't imagine that's that... That's just how we talk. Her. I can't imagine that's how that's how... You talking about her? Are you that's talking how we about talk. her? You're talking about come over here? Depends on... I got a point at it. I could be talking about the same, you know what I mean? Her. There you go. Yeah, I, I hope y'all don't really talk like that, though. Yeah, we do. You think it's an act? <laughs> uh, it's a yeah, game. I, I saw yeah, Nelly, it's a game. Yes. No, listen... For Unfortunately Chisholm. for y'all Kansas City natives, y'all one of the few places that do not have y'all own accent. Here's the thing. And it's okay. The only it's accent okay. that I actually believe is an accent is like Memphis. So you don't, you think if we trying to talk like that? Yeah. I, I think believe I think, me, if I didn't if I didn't have to talk like that, I wouldn't. But it's just natural. Our grandparents talk like that back home. Say there's a fox over there. There's a fox over there. <laughs> oh, so you don't talk like that. No, I would have to look, you want me to say He's there. Trying. You want He's me to say there. Yeah. You, that's what you want me to say there. See how much it there. So I'm how going would you, over how, there. How like, would you know I'm not hurt, goddammit. How would you know so I'm not Really? But I, if I'm in a space, I can't just be, you know what I mean? I heard Glorilla say, uh... Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, Kruber. Kruber. See Kruber. what Kruber. I'm saying? Kruber on Kruber. Hey, look, and, and I'm glad y'all... <laughs> uh, and I'm glad y'all attacked me, you know what I mean, with my, you know, my St. Louis, you know, essence, you know what I mean, still intact, because mm. I'm going to stand by my comment I just made. Most major cities have accents. 
Y'all yeah. don't have one here. And y'all jealous. That's that all it is. That don't mean shit, though, if you y'all don't get an don't accent. have an accent. Here's the thing. Atlanta not, got one. Baltimore got one. New York got one. Memphis got one. You're LA got one. High crime rate city. I'm right. just saying. <laughs> the C don't got, y'all don't got no originality, what's the, baby. What's the LA accent? Now you, y'all uh, talk proper. Uh, yeah. Y'all talk words. proper. Park my valet car over there, sir. Yeah, talk. Like, you may hear me say hella, hella times. Like, that's about it. But, 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 but y'all pronounce y'all words. So that's why I like to say y'all, pro- I don't want to say proper. That's a product of a good school system, yes. I don't know about that. Like Kansas City. I don't yes. know about that. You know, you be trying to claim it's KC. There. And I don't it's like there. how you be trying to. <laughs> it's there. Because if we just talk about where you from, you be trying to get in and get in you business You don't want to talk where I'm from. It's a little small suburb outside of no, L.A. No, Is it no, L.A.? No, it's L.A. Which part of L.A.? I grew up on 84th, bro. Which Matter of fact, my dad had a house in the hood on Imperial in Vermont. It okay. Jim Dandy's, three barber shops, and a Louisiana fried chicken on the corner. Right. Louisiana, Louisiana fried chicken. chicken. Yes, that's L.A. as shit. What's the stats? Oh, here we go. Boom. Oh, Kansas, Kansas, Missouri. The area. Kansas City. Does that count Kansas, Kansas too? That Johnson County? Casey Metro, yeah. Can we... Okay, so let alone, I would Wait. assume that Sumner is better than any other St. Louis school. St. Louis has more schools shut down. Per well, let me capita. say it's number one in the. It's number one in the. In I, the state. I know, but I don't even think a St. Louis school is number uh, one in St. Louis. We, listen, <laughs> but hey, look, here's the thing: y'all lump each other in together. When we say KC, y'all, you know, y'all, yeah, everybody want to get like in with each, each other. other. And we do too. But this is what I'm saying: St. No, Louis, no, because uh, you uh, got to take that back. Okay, because you like. Oh, east side. I ain't, that's, I ain't not Saint, that's not St. Louis. What is it? I, we don't Chicago? say KC Moe ain't KC. East St. Louis. But yes, y'all do. No, we don't. Yes, y'all hey, do. Hey, y'all I just say it ain't, it ain't Kansas. Ain't East St. Louis, Illinois? Yes, it's Illinois. But isn't, isn't Johnson County, Kansas? And isn't, there, aren't there good school districts in Missouri? My kids go to Park Hill. That's pretty good. North Kansas City is yeah. pretty good. He I mean, he the metro know. area is the metro area. Shit. I'm <laughs> sitting there confused. I'm just out. Yeah. Park Hill sounds good. Arkansas. But no, what I'm saying is this. St. Louis is just... The black folks, y'all get to lump in all the surrounding suburbs. So that's why it be the numbers be inflated and wrong. Because so you're saying black folk ain't smart? No, let's no, no. Get, I'm let's just saying. get this on the you podcast, get, John. Hey, John. Hey, hey, cut our mics. Let's, let's just leave it on John. <laughs> yeah. Turn okay, now. Can we John, do, 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 not, to, do not cut this podcast. John, John, how do you feel about this? Go to John Saint, Go to Missouri. No, no, no. Because where is that? Where is Sumner at? Kansas City, Kansas. Kansas. KCK. Right, right okay, down the street. Go, go Casey, Missouri, though. Okay, we look up St. Louis uh, schools. Please. I bet you it ain't one. It, it's like it was like saying St. Louis daycare for the gifted. <laughs> you know, I love how y'all just believe. Hey, the yeah, website I just is love shut down. how y'all believe KC just this, you know, beautiful Glorious just city. Hell no, Glorious. no. What are y'all in the crime rate again? Ah, uh, it's too. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, whoa, crime is across the board. Oh, I'm just saying. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Don't you talk about crime rate? Well, this is about us. This is about y'all. Actually, I think we only had 20 murders last year. You said what? I think we only had like 22 murders last year. That was in August. Confirmed. Yeah, I was going to say 22. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> they didn't catch the other ones. <laughs> St. Louis. <laughs> the what, the what, the what? Say that again, what, what? please, for the podcast. Wait, wait, wait. They're actually top. They have all top three high schools in the state. St. Louis got what? Are there any public schools? Uh, St. Louis has the it. top three high schools in the state of Missouri. No, yeah. I, please, was, nope, nope, name. I feel like you. I feel like you use an ass G. Okay. St. Louis public. Elementary. <laughs> uh huh. None of these schools. Uh huh. That's private as shit. Bro, these are fake ass schools. Ladue. No, I played against Ladue in high school. Man, it's like that. Yeah, what is that, that? That LeBron James school that played against that fake Saint, school? St. Mary, St. Vincent, the right. 15th. <laughs> Thank you. That's Thank right you. there. I listen, hey, John, look, John, look. that's right there. That's right there. There you go. My case has been made. All that shit, they was talk, just talking, and St. Louis got those the three high-rated schools. schools in the state of Missouri. I bet those are private schools. We ain't in Missouri. Like, look, I'm just, I, look, we ain't in Missouri. We can go to another segment. My case has been proven, okay? <laughs> they tried our academia, okay? What they, high school you go to? A, I went to Park Right North. Maryland Heights. In like, the suburbs. Google that one. Google it. That's a good school. Google it. I ain't go to school in the hood. My school ain't losing accreditation. It was predominantly white schools. Another one. <laughs> Another one. Uh, you, know, <clears throat> you know, see, this is what happens, though, Mike, when you bring out the facts in regards to uh, Louis Like Casey. I said, he's looking on Ask G's or some shit. <laughs> yeah, U.S. News. Well, that sounds yeah. like, sound like one of them fake That sounds like the Babylon B. Haters. Oh, hold on. What about y'all school system out there in L.A.? I'm sure it's gang infested. Hey, no, uh, I went to Piper. No, I said L.A. Oh. 
What about them? I know it's gang infested. Can't them? even go there's, there with regular school clothes on. There's too many high schools. That is true. You could go with. I can't red, wear red. Blue. You, can't wear, you can't do that anywhere though. Okay. At Park uh, Hill, my son can't wear red and blue, red and blue, all red and blue. So no. that's anywhere. Well, I'm just, we speak about LA. Y'all school system ain't shit. That's everywhere. <laughs> no, it's not. No, we, we got bigger colleges. So we ain't worried about that. Uh, but it's right by the homeless people though. USC is Y'all in the hood. It is. is. It is. I ain't paying all that money How many for national South Central to be right there across the street. How many national championships? For what? Yeah, Football. Any pick one. Pick a sport. That shit was national championship for high USC. school. USC. No, he's talking about USC. No, we t- I was talking he about USC. high school. He, ch- he moved yeah, the goalposts. I don't like, see him. He said USC's in the hood. You can't. Pick. I brought it up because you brought up college. Because USC's amazing. Yes. I wasn't talking about. I was talking about high school. What about Hollywood High? California academics is on the highest. Hollywood nation. High. Yeah. What about Washington High? You know Washington, all them places. There's a Washington in every damn city. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, we talking about LA though. <laughs> I didn't go there. I'm just saying. I didn't go there. All the schools I know from LA, y'all ain't at Crenshaw High. What they? What? They got problems. <laughs> what he talking about us. Crenshaw High, the district hey, Crenshaw no, High is by hey, the biggest St. Louis. Spencer James went to Crenshaw High. Who was it? Who we talking about? Spencer James. He, he was on that show. All uh, American. All he American. Showed uh, he did. He went to Crenshaw High, show. and he was an All American. So, I, but he left. He left. But he left. He did leave. Uh, Just uh, with the white kids. Tyson Chandler. And, oh, oh, oh. Uh, he went to Dominguez. Okay, exactly. That's, That's Compton. Y'all talking about some bullshit. Exactly. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad, Mike. <laughs> you, you brought me to a topic I wanted to talk about. What's the black best black movie? That ever came out. Oh, this is a tough That's one. That's good. That's good. I got okay. mine locked and loaded. Okay. I'm okay. ready. All right. Uh, you yes. want to go first? I'll go first. Or are you going to be first. upset? Right, Why would you uh, start? Right, you don't know shit, shit about black. this. He's, he goes, he goes okay. like, oh, here we go. He's like, drumline. He's going to be like, Selena. Uh, Amistad. <laughs> <laughs> Roots. <laughs> the series. <laughs> No, nah, that was a that hell. Nah, 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 that was a, that, man. That was nah. easy though, bro. That's one of them nah. ones. Okay, here we go. Nah. I got it. Life. Oh, life's good. It's man. the best movie because if we talking about our our favorite comedians, damn, they're all and it was in the same movie and mm-hmm. they killed it. Yeah, and that was uh, to me that's one of Eddie Murphy's best performances. Okay. So I'm gonna go life. Okay, but can we lump that with like the Harlem Nights and all? Because all of them nah. during that series. Nah. I, I'm with you though, but nah, that's life is saying. his own little. Mm, that's really got? good, man. That's good. I don't know. I might watch that tonight. But it's the it's the good. best one. It the can't. It don't have to be the best comedy, the, right? Mm-mm. The best one. Damn, you right. Fuck. I ain't thinking that. Um, some with a good message. <laughs> you know they don't, they don't make too many movies like that. Belly. Belly. See, hey, honestly, <laughs> like rock, I was rock. gonna say like <laughs> rock, 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 rock. oh, to eat a banana, drop a dime. I don't on like that, that shit. I'm trying to think of one that was like I really I can. Like I so like coming to America, life, all those Eddie movie, Eddie Murphy movies. I can name those line by line, right? Um, I would probably say, man, that's tough. It's that's tough. Tough. No, that's tough. That's tough. Like best man is up there. Jay, Jay, I, think, Jay. I think. I think. I think. <clears throat> man, you got to pick one, Jazz. I don't know. I don't know. The name is Marcus. Damn it. My bad. I, I don't that. know. <laughs> Jay, yes. Jay, come, yes. come to me last. Come to me last. <laughs> It's my name and Marcus. I'm gonna call, I'm call Marcus. Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Come to me last. Who, 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 what's yours? Legit. I was. It's either Boys in the Hood, mm. Menace to Society, or Belly. Belly was in all our households. Like Belly, a was, tech. Belly was influential for me. Right. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm it trying to think what mo- what movie. That's one of the greatest. Was, now was, now Belly Belly was was good. It wasn't like. Better than Men's Society and Boys in the Hood. That had like that was a, just a good movie. Did yeah. you have Belly on DVD? I, I had Belly on DVD. Did you have Belly on the DVD? All white all DVD. Wh- yep. <laughs> Did you have? Belly I got to say nothing else. I had Belly on DVD. Of course. So I used to sneak and watch that scene all the time with Keisha. 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 Boy, I used to be like the, the painting in the back. Boy, hey boy. Who, who, who's Keisha? Keisha. Oh, stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who's Keisha? <laughs> let me, let me hold this up. Who's Keisha? I don't know who Keisha is. <laughs> I don't know a Keisha. I don't know of any Keishas. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was those three movies for me. Okay. But Belly was different just because it was, it was more. It wasn't like Belly wasn't about like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It's gonna be a good message. No. <laughs> Bo- like, Boys in the yeah. Hood would have been good, but once I see Trey wipe that booger off his nose, <laughs> I what can't. What scene is that? It was when he was punching the air. When he was trying, he wiped the booger. When he was punching his air, he like he, 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 he wiped the booger off his nose, and I was okay. like, man, I can't really get behind that. Oh, this shit's fake. <laughs> <laughs> you leave that booger there, bro. That booger's part of the yeah, scene. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Leave you, that. You yeah. let it snot. 
like okay. fences. What was that lady's name? The one that be crying all the time? Viola Davis. Viola Davis. That was a good movie. Now, when she snotted and like it was coming down her nose, I said, oh, I, I can get behind this. Yeah, yeah. I can't do Viola Davis. She be crying too much. I know. That's I, what I, I like. Her cries move me, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. She got that slave cry. Yeah. <laughs> she got it, man. Her God, cries God. get me, boy. I feel like you just set us back. Like, <laughs> Did I set us back? That's Viola Davis cry. queen. I'm sorry, baby. But it's very moving. It's real emotional. It's real emotional. What, so she what be about, moving me with her cries, bro. What about training day? Training Damn, is good. that's a good one. Training is good. A, but I don't know if it's a black movie. Though. Yeah, okay, that's, that's, fair, that's, that's why fair. I was thinking like Training Day was. Uh, yeah. it, it's got to be a predominant black cast. Then, then it then it has to be it has to be an Eddie Murphy movie back in the day or it don't got to be comedy. No, it ain't got to be. But that was the best one that I like. Life in America is probably the best. Life yeah. coming to America was good. The original movie. The original like, best black comedy movie. You don't like coming to America too? No, that was horrible. I, like I didn't even watch that shit. The original. That was I didn't watch trash. that? I watched it. I, watched I didn't want to watch that. I didn't watch it either. I was just trying to see the if original. y'all watched it. Yeah, yeah, I, can't I, I watched it. But Seriously, the they need to leave it alone. Yes. Just leave it alone. See, I'm like, I like Malcolm X. That's a good one. Oh, that, you know, that, that, that sparked the interest in me to just start researching more and more and more and just... I took a rabbit hole. So you were looking for a message. I'm about I was looking for hey, a message. It, it I bet just, you George's movie, favorite movie is Rosewood. Rosewood. He's like, that's a damn good movie, bro. Hey, but Three hour long. How did you feel when you walked out of that movie? I mean, listen. Were you upset? <laughs> yeah, were you upset it? But you saw every white person, you were like, oh, dude. <laughs> trip your ass. <laughs> if you saw any Shut in up. there, bro. <laughs> They try to get it, which hey, I hated the movie too. Yeah, I didn't like Rosewood either. Oh my god, I feel for you guys and what your struggle is. Your pain is my pain. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm go with so I don't sound the same. I'm gonna really go with Coming to America. Coming, to, Coming America. to America was was great. I like that one. I thought it was good. Eddie Murphy killed that whole because Eddie Murphy in in life, all those are connected. Harlem yeah, Nights, are. Life, yeah. um, um, Coming to America. They, they're, they're they actually did say that. I don't know if this is like a urban legend that Harlem Nights is a prequel to life. That's what yeah. I heard. <clears throat> and it makes perfect sense. I don't and know they, who they explained it, it but it made yeah. perfect sense. They tied it in. I was like, oh, really? That made perfect sense. That, Can't go yeah. wrong with it. And then Belly just got the best intro, though. They yeah. do get the best I mean, the way they, that joint come on is just. Got yeah, every movie like it after didn't even match up. Like, no. I, like watching State Property, I'm like, I just no. want to watch Belly. Turn this off. Belly watch. had a little more money behind it, though. That was a good production. No, yeah. I, th- I think they I'm probably a- is like Dame Dash put some shit together. Yeah. Like, I think y'all. I'm gonna say Paper Soldiers. Paper Soldiers. No, no. See, that's one of Dame. That's one of Dame. Move. That's a bootleg. Oh joint. no, 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 no. no. I, I got it. No, no oh, lie. Sh- no lie. Uh, paid in full. Paid in full. Yes. Paid in full. Paid in full. Paid in full. Yes. Paid in full. Yes. Paid in full. Yes. Might have been. No, that was Eddie Murphy movie. Pa- no, no, no. You ever seen Paid in Full? You seen Paid in Full, Mike? I seen Paid in Full. You, yeah. Paid in Full. Paid in Full. No, that's a good one. Yeah. That's the one. I like the way they come on too. That's the one. You said that you like when what? I like the way it come on too. The movie, yeah, the, yeah. The intro to Payton yeah. Fool. Payton Fool was dope. No, 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 no ribs, no rice, no champagne. You don't get nothing. <laughs> you don't get nothing. <laughs> don't get nothing. Yeah, hey, Payton Fool. That, that's that's, like, that's uh, what I'm going. What's that movie? Uh, what is it? I'm gonna nah. Yeah, I'm gonna get you, sucker. That See, movie? now that's one of them old yeah. school movies that, that I had yeah. to. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that, that's y'all lane though. Y'all yeah. was watching oh, Coffee. Hell no, nah, man. Y'all was watching that shit, man. I don't hear that. Y'all was watching that. Best black actor is black Denzel, actor. Washington. Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. You're going to say some stupid shit. Will Smith as 1B. 1B? You heard me. Hold on Denzel now. Denzel 1A. A. Will Smith 1B. So, I don't know. So I, don't I can't. Know no 1B. Two. No, no. He, he, he in the top five. It's 1B. If Will we're talking Smith? versatile, Will Smith is more now, versatile. I don't know if you're joking or not, but I I'm can, ca- can kind of be. I'm be. Denzel's my favorite, but okay. if we're talking about versatile. Will Smith got him beat by Happy Mile. So we just not gonna we not even gonna mention Sam or or Morgan Freeman or none of them. No, but we say who the best. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Samuel Jackson's in everything. I can't. Hey, when Samuel Jackson told me to get them snakes off that plane, (laughs) you ain't like that movie for real. I didn't really like it, but when he said it, I I felt it. I felt like a snake bite me or something. I I love him. I want want to hear the whole Will Smith. Oh, let's do it. This is gonna be good. Name a great movie he's been in. I can name. I can do it. Okay, here we go. I talk about the ones who made me cry. Don't say Men in Black. No. Don't That's so. Men in Black, not the shit. It is good, but it ain't like I wouldn't go name like it Great acting of Will okay. Smith. Have you watched Seven Pounds? Seven yeah. Pounds. Is Did great. you cry? Ah. You teared up a little watery eye when he was in the tub with the jellyfish. Yeah. Keep it gangster. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. So there, there that was I it. Name one. I just name, you said name one. Will Smith got a catalog go. I thought you told me your favorite movie from Will Smith was Concussion. That ain't my favorite damn movie. <laughs> Dumbass movie. <laughs> you watch that shit. <laughs> I was my favorite damn movie. <laughs> I was a football player at the time. I ain't want to hear that bullshit. Concussion. Like they changed the rules because of this shit. Come I got on. a headache watching this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, right now. no Will, Will, I can, I can get behind Will Smith though. Seriously, because Will, Will no, Smith. I'm, I'm being for real. Denzel's my favorite. 
Cause John, cause of John Q. John Q's my favorite. John Q's, that's a good movie. John Q's good. He made me cry with that one. Yep. I'm gonna bury my son. My son's gonna bury me like that. Ah, that fucked the nigga up. You know. Ah. Trading Day is good. Okay. So Denzel's got good acting movies. Will Smith just like a comedy guy. So there. No, Mike. What are we talking about? A comedy guy. Yeah. He did I Am Legend. I am legend. That was funny right. as hell. All right, I'll give you that. You said, <laughs> wait, fuck this guy. <laughs> I, I am legend wasn't funny. You told me he was talking to the mannequin in the store. That was funny. I think that was funny as hell. I am legend. Kill the dog. I am legend. Yeah, that, that was a good movie. I'll give you that. But Denzel had more great movies that. So like, there, he acted there, was, in. there was a debate that said um, Samuel L. Jackson can play any role Denzel Washington played, but Denzel Washington can't play any role Samuel L. Jackson. 100%. Played. I agree. I agree. Yes. That. I agree. Yeah. Sam, you're the most versatile. Well, you, you say they can't? What? What? Are y'all serious? Yeah. Y'all really believe that? Everything yeah. ain't for everybody. No, no, no. I didn't make that up. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You think Denzel Washington can play something like Stakes on a Plane? Can, 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 Samuel, can Samuel L. Jackson play Malcolm X? <laughs> yeah. Hell no, Mike. No, no, Stop you, it, Mike. I'm not saying that Stop he'd be it, good at it. Okay. Stop not it. I'm saying magnitude. he play not, not saying magnitude. Stop. No, he couldn't do it. Stop. Stop. Samuel L. Jackson could play Trainer Day? Yes. I'm no, not, no, sir. No. No, sir. No. I'm not. No, okay, once no. again. No, no. that's what I mean. No. That's no. what I mean. Denzel plays part in Kingsman. The dude with the lisp. There is there are so many movies on. that Denzel would not touch that Samuel Jackson did. That's a fact. You ain't never seen Denzel Watson going to be in Star Wars as Mace Windu. That'd be dope, though. <laughs> no, what? That'd be dope, though. <laughs> Like, come get this work, Jake. Don Fader. Come get this work, Jake. <laughs> like, Don Fader ain't got shit on me. Now, wait a minute, Mike. What's your top three Denzel movies? We got Training Day, number Training one. Training Day. Um, ooh, that's that's a tough one. Uh, Training Day. Glory. Glory is a... But he wasn't a lead role, though. Okay, we're going to lead role. Man, I just feel like we left at a whole bunch of movies. Denzel. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Those wait a minute. Are you saying Glory because it's Glory? Or are you saying Glory because you watched it and was like, okay, I can rock with Glory? It touched him. The movie touched him. Touched, touched his soul. That's the what Buffalo it was. Buffalo Soldiers. Man, the best, I get the Buffalo Soldiers. Best Denzel movie is... I thought I said the best Denzel nah, movie is... That's, that's the best worst movie ever. That's a great movie. Oh, yeah, you saying that's not a good, good movie? movie? I'm not saying, but that's too Disney. Like... You know what's going to happen. Oh, that was a great role. I don't day. like feel-good movies. To this day. Okay, you one of those guys. So you, yeah. you, you want to get shot. Weak side. He like that man <laughs> on fire type thing. Right, you know yeah, man on fire. Man on fire. That's number movie. two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Training day, uh, maybe Philadelphia. No, nah, you're going to go with. Nah, that's too nah. cheesy. Like, he, I'm he's tired too of old those. to be playing an action blues. star to me. You said what? More I can't think of another Denzel blues. movie that. What's that? Spike Lee joint. No John Q? I never seen it. John Q's all right. What about He Got Game? He got game. There we go. I'll, I'll put that number three. Can Great movie. See, can you see Morgan Freeman playing that spot? Uh, Denzel no. played and he got game. No, sir. He got no And Samuel jumper. Jackson wouldn't have played that shit either. That's what I'm saying. He wouldn't have played that. And, but it doesn't prove proving we, your point. We yeah. I'm, what I'm saying is Denzel Washington could play any role Samuel Jackson. That is not true. That's not that true. That is true. No, no it's not. He That's couldn't true. be a poke fishing. Samuel Jackson killed poke fishing. All right, killed here we go. What's your favorite movie? Mm. Ooh. It ain't got to be a black man. Here we go. Oh, no, mine's not. So you, you know, it's, it? it's, it's okay. It's Avatar two. No, it's Braveheart. 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 You don't look movie. like a Braveheart kind of guy. I know. <laughs> Bro, no. you, you did a twenty three and me. Yo, like, yeah, I, 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 uh, Braveheart. Hey, so I'm not movie. gonna lie. I did not. Nobody I would, you, does. I, I would have bet a million dollars you never would have said that. No, movie. Braveheart. It's my favorite movie. Man, that's well, funny why? you say that. It's. I just love it. <laughs> it's just I'm not saying it's a great movie. I just never thought. I love it just because for the entirety of the movie. It don't stop. Like, it's just like, it's a message all through. The, and then as long as hell, then at the end of the movie, freedom! Then he cut his head off. That's a movie shit. Very right. touching. Ain't no black people in it, though. But No, I ain't no black people in no, Ireland no, or no. Scotland or wherever the hell you know what I'm saying? I like it. That's my favorite movie. What about you, uh, Marcus? JS. Uh, Go ahead, JS. Uh, I got you, baby. Oh, so, I already know your movie is if, Adjustment if you, Bureau. If you say Adjustment Bureau or Grown Ups. <laughs> <laughs> Grown Ups 2. <laughs> Grown Ups 2. By, far, by the way, well, I'm sorry to stop you. Grown Ups 2, by far the, the, the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. Grown Ups 2? I've never seen that. Oh, Period. no. Please watch. Hey, put the okay. camera on me. Put the camera on me. <laughs> the worst movie that I've ever seen in my life. Oh, damn. Ever. It's called Bruiser. Now, now, anybody who's watching this, I really want y'all to just go watch the preview of the movie Bruiser, and I want you to tell me what it's about. And if you can tell me what it's about, then I will give you $100. But I guarantee you won't be able to tell me what it's about. Because once you watch it, it's not about that. I don't like the name. That's the first thing. All right. All right. So, I don't like the name. Now, it's funny you say Braveheart because Troy was one of my favorite movies. It's another good one. It, it was a good movie, right? Yes, sir. But I think my favorite movie, my favorite... Now, 
Like it was on X video. I mean, X video. Oh, okay, here we go. Now this Mark, is what, what happened. What happened, what happened to the? What happened? I don't know no keys. Now, now, now look, look no now, if we talking about <laughs> something that's clip worthy, that's it, it was. You ever see Kim Kardashian, Ray J start that movie? <laughs> couch, couch. Damn, JS. Bro, you for to be on the couch, couch. <laughs> But it's cool. This shit don't come out to next week. So, you know what I'm saying? Time, so I, I got a little bit of time. Yeah, you know, to, to prepare for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now he gonna put this on one of the clips too. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite movie. <laughs> it's gonna be TikTok crazy. Bro, <laughs> that, that was great, bro. Oh, no, that was I mean, good. Um, man, Troy is really up there for real. Uh, if I had to pick a like a movie that I know that I could watch, I could sit down and just watch. Uh, it would probably be like Baby Boy. Baby boy. I don't know why. It's just I saw that a drive in movie theater. Because baby boy like that sex scene. It's not supposed to be funny, <laughs> but baby boy is actually everywhere. hilarious. Like when he told him, man, you riding a bike? You yeah. know what I'm saying? That, I thought that was hilarious. All everything that Jody did was funny. I'm sorry, but the the what's his name? Omar Gooden. Omar Gooden. Yep. He, yeah. I he, I can't believe him. You ain't like his role from Smart Guy to that. You ain't like that. <laughs> That's funny. Like that. I can't <laughs> believe it. Chuck it up. I, yeah, can't, I can't believe that. You don't like it Omar was too hard. And then he he played in uh, or he had a role in <laughs> Wild and Crazy Kids and Nickelodeon. Like I can't take this dude serious. You ain't like that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That just shows his range. He was over at Do Dirty House all day. Yeah, Has like he that. played in a different <laughs> movie since then? That that ended his career. Some small roles, I think. Yeah, that, yeah, a few small roles. You know what I'm saying? He like, in Cuba here and there, here and there. He in Cuba. <laughs> Yeah, in Cuba. Cuba. Cuba got some. He got some cold ones so too. You, now. you really going with Baby Boy? No, no, no. Like out of it, all it, the movies it, it, in the world. So I like movies. And you that just it, said Bra- like you said Braveheart. I'm gonna go with, with Baby no, Boy. I like movies yeah, that are that, I like movies that are serious. But you know, this is all white but, part. But, but they're funny. Like they supposed to be serious. Like man, that's that's hilarious. Ain't nothing funny about Braveheart. So I don't know how you compare. No, 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 no. I'm saying I, I like Baby Boy. It's supposed to be a serious movie, but it's hilarious. It's that a movie, comedy that movie is funny. They turned around so and showed ass. Yeah, but you go and you go and baby boy. No, no, no. I'm not. Go- I th- I'm gonna go with Troy just so y'all don't laugh at me. I love Troy. No, no, I'm gonna laugh at you. It's my guy. Troy is a good movie. Yeah, a good but movie. you said baby boy at first. You did want to go with baby boy. I feel yeah, like you changed it because we, we changed, went in with yeah. you. Yeah, because I laughed at me. Yeah, yeah. But said, I told you, I you, see you it. My mom and daddy know this true. I, they took said. us to the drive-in movie theater, and that was playing on the other end. Like we was facing this way, baby boy was on this end. You turned around, didn't you? Oh, we been my brothers on top of my daddy's suburban. Huh? What movie did you originally? I don't remember, but it wasn't Baby Boy. You know, the first movie I went to the drive in was Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I was like, I went to see God like damn, that was a good movie. God damn, Mike. I don't know. Oh, God that movie God came damn. out like 89 <laughs> or some shit. Anything before me was that's, that's 30 years ago, Mike. God yeah. damn. <laughs> Anytime I see real people playing with actors, like, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't think any We're movie that ain't like I said, I said that was the, the Gorgonites. <laughs> the Gorgonites is small hey, That was a good movie, too, though. That was a good movie. The Gorgonites. We are the Gorgonites. <laughs> that was a good movie, too, though. All right. What's your favorite? He Got Game. That's your favorite movie? Favorite movie, period. I can watch it no, nonstop, Monday through Monday through Monday. You like that uh, recruiting trip, didn't you? I like yeah, all of yeah, it. You yeah, like yeah, all yeah, recruiting yeah, trip, yeah. I ain't never seen Rewind. titties like that. Rewind. Like, that was when I was getting my Hooper phase, okay. the Jays, the the, Sky, the of course, the Rick Fox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me show you we do it over at Ball State. No, it's Big U. Big, Big U. Let me show you yeah, Big, Big U. U. And I was like, bro, I got to play basketball in college. Yeah. Now, I want to ask y'all something, you know, because it's still on top of where he got game. Water beds. Was that really, was it, we were they really popping back in the day? So my, I had a yeah, my mom and daddy had And I had a bad back for... 20 years after Okay, that. all right. I had a waterbed until I was like 14. I missed that way. Everybody, no, nah, you didn't want them. that. You didn't miss literally, that way. Oh, <laughs> that's, 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 we talked about funny. this the other day. Yeah. I, I would literally be tired and then I would jump in bed and I couldn't fall asleep for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> Don't rock Trying the boat, baby. Even, like, you just can't even move. Wait, you had all. your own personal waterbed? Yeah. What? Wait, hold on. You don't dirty. share no water bed. Yeah. No, 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 no. Share no, water no, bed. no what, I'm, what I'm saying is, my mom and daddy had a water bed. We did. We had. We had a twin. Oh, I had my mom and daddy's water bed that they gave up, and they got a real bed. Mm-hmm. How did they get it to the room though? Did they have to drain it? And you then, to drain it, and then you got to pull it over, and then you got to. Did they do it with up. the water hose? Yes. They yeah. Did it with yep. water. You put yeah. their seat. Y'all old or y'all yeah. young? So you, Excuse you, the hell out of us. Yeah. <laughs> you put there's a little contraption that comes with it, and you put the hose in it, and you like kind of twist it, turn it on, and then like reverses. Yeah, the the suction and it gets it all. You out. Would, you would think they would pop easily and they don't. The toes in the tub. No, you take the hose outside. Yeah. There's too much water in the tub. We went to the, the window. Just or the window. Yeah, just get it out, man. 
I, nah. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I fucked that up. I just wanted to ask. You know what I mean? No, nah, it was the worst. That, 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 that's that, what they don't worst. exist anymore, bro. Okay. I have. That's why I have bad, bad, bad back problems. Yeah. Because of that damn water bed. Yeah, I have rebound. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rebound. Yeah. Wait, mm-hmm. well, boy, you got some culture, boy. That's have what I'm seeing. Hoop dreams. That's a good one. That's oh, so you seen that? I have. I'm culture. Okay. I, I told you on the Baby Family, Mike, it was a lot of old motherfuckers around you me. Know, you up. know, Earl Menigo wasn't a real person, right? Yes, he was. I'm He's joking. a real person. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, I'm just saying, hold on. You're not going to disrespect the GOAT now. They say he was better than Mike. That's what they say. Oh. I mean, it's a lot of people say. better than Mike. Oh, it's mm. this. It's a lot of people better than Mike. All right. A lot. All right. We're going to go into it. I'm with you. A lot. LeBron James. LeBron is better than Mike. That's my favorite player, baby. Of all time? Of all time. My the favorite greatest. player of all time is Reggie Miller. But okay. the best player of all time is LeBron James. What you got to say about that, Mike? I don't think that's true. Okay. I just yeah, don't think don't that's break, true. Don't break that. You got different goats for different errors, bro. Okay, I like that. Yeah, nah, don't, don't hit me with no air goat. Because, nah, because we, look, 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 look. The game has changed. The game is now okay. a European game. It's a fast break game. Who Mike got 40,000 points? Mm. How long has he played? Oh, my Who God. got 40,000 yeah, points? But that's a testament to his greatness, He's been playing for 35 years. But longevity has to be an argument. But he keeps his body in shape. I mean, shit. That means he's good. To keep this body in to me, you're 21, look young, and play, you play younger yes. than the 19 year olds is without yes. a doubt. Yes, impeccable. he just he just gave y'all 40 last night. He didn't give him 40 last night. He had 25 last yeah, night. Yeah, 40 against like the Warriors. Yeah, something like that. Oh, he just lying his ass. We ain't doing nothing but adding on to the little toe. <laughs> he dropped 40 last night. Yeah. 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 And I'm a Lakers fan. I'm like, I appreciate LeBron didn't come to the Lakers. Hey, I, I don't like I, that he was. I, I did think it was funny. So we had my cousin on Earl, okay, on the podcast. Here we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Marcus is you know co-hosted with me, right? Okay. I asked him that die same hard question. Lay, LeBron I asked him that same question. Who's better, LeBron or Jordan? This he he played in the NBA for what 12, 13 yes. years. UCLA. He said, you know, his answer was Kobe, right? Okay. And he gave his reasons. This motherfucker didn't say a damn word. I was like, oh, you, you ain't gonna that? argue. Let me, ask, but his let me ask you a question. His reasoning aside, and not ask you guys. Listen, the reason I didn't argue is because I had once again I have fan stats. <laughs> I have fan stats. I have fan. Respect. Ho- you know what I'm saying? My Respect. heart is fan. Yeah, yeah. He did this. He you did know? it. He know. <laughs> he crossed over, yeah. Cole. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I don't argue with that. This is feelings based. I get where you're coming from. You know what I'm saying? He had to hear from me, though. But he was wrong. Oh, don't tell him okay. I said that. Don't say that. it now. Don't tell him I said that. Don't tell him I said that. Earl. He was wrong, girl. I ain't LeBron James. LeBron James. Who you got? LeBron James. Kobe. Kobe. Kobe's the best player of all time? To me. In my opinion. Yeah. I'm going with Jordan. I'm sorry. That's we know why he's going it's because I just Jordan. watched The Last Dance. So. Yeah, that's what it was. That was damn, that's the best sports documentary. Be clouded no. judgment. Bill Russell. Hey, he's got most, most championships. So does Robert Ori. So that makes him better Robert than Ori Michael Jordan. Big does not have more Bob. than Bill Russell. He has more than Michael Jordan. Yes, he does. So yes. he's better than Michael Jordan. Big yes, he's Bob. better than Michael Jordan. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't co-sign any of that. No. LeBron <laughs> James, okay, baby? That's what we're doing. LeBron James doing. is number one. And then number two is probably... John Stockton. Uh, I don't give a shit you holding up that red sign. I ain't done. Where you got him. LeBron there, Mike? Lebron number two. Brown, okay. Nah, and that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. See that? See fair. That? Nah. See fair. That? See? Nah, number one. Fair. But no, but you see how I said that? Fair. Thank you, Mike. Not see fur. See how I said that when I act? No, no, you're not listening. Not Wait. fur. Fair. It's fur. <laughs> it's fur. Number one is LeBron. Number two is probably... He's going to say... Jeff Hornacek. <laughs> and then number three... <laughs> Jerry hey, West. Dude, number two free throw. He was... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He was the- Pete Maravich. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? He could dribble. Uh, Byron Russell is my Bob favorite Cousy. shooting guard. Yeah. The logo, Jerry West. Yeah. The logo. That's Magic Johnson. Guard. Magic. That Magic. was easy. Magic. Dominate. Wait a who? Magic Johnson? Point guard. Magic. Yes. No. Was he a point guard, you though? Go back to those oh, finals? he was yeah. a point guard. He played, he played one through five in the finals and dropped 20 in each spot. But, yeah. He's a point guard. All right. Tall as hell, though. Wait a minute. So y'all, so unanimous. Point now guard. unanimous. By the way, point guard, Magic y'all Johnson. best point guard is Magic, Magic Johnson. You like what you criteria like are we using? Who you got? Point guards pass the ball. If you so don't just, pass the just, ball, you're not a point guard. John Stockton. It's opinion based. It's he opinion going based. Steph Curry. It's opinion based. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. No, best point guard. Um, man, that's tough. I don't know about no, it's no Magic. He gonna say something. You better not say John Stockton though. Man, I was thinking like. If it's say Bugsy Bosey. Man, somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> Chris Paul, you know what I'm saying? Chris Paul. It's actually my favorite point guard. <clears throat> he ain't really? won nothing. It's my favorite point guard. Huh? And they ain't won nothing. It'd be like that, man. Look, see. Hey, that's what it is, though. No, if, it's not. You, you, can't, see, you, 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 might, can't be, you can't be one of the GOATs if you ain't never won nothing. Okay, I respect that. Not you got to have stats and accomplishments. So wait a minute. Charles Barkley one of the GOATs? Uh-uh. Who that? Charles Barkley isn't one of the GOATs. No, not as a position, no. 
Small I, I would say he's he's a he's a top fifty player. BJ, BJ Armstrong got a chip. John where Paxson. Do where do y'all got Tim Duncan? Number one power forward all time. Uh, Was he? Number one power forward I, all time. I, I don't know who else is power. He got forward. the accolade. Okay, you got KG. You got Tim Charles Barnett, Barkley, yeah. Carl Malone, who's number three on. I would say Tim Duncan. Yeah, Tim Duncan. You would KG say Tim Duncan. Two. Yeah. You said okay. what? You would say Tim Duncan. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He got the stats and the rings. He got five yeah. and two league MVPs. Yeah. Who you got? I don't know. Oh, I mean, that's a hard mean, one. I, I hate giving Spurs credit because I have a friend that's a very heavily Spurs fan. This guy's a Lakers fan, so you know it's touching him, Spurs. No, he's a LeBron no, 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 fan. No, no. no. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. I'm, sorry. I'm not a Lakers fan. I'm a LeBron fan. Okay. So no, I, I was pointing at my oh, dog. Okay, about saying because I, I, I like Cleveland. I'm a basketball fan overall. And then when he sports, you like who? I said I, I'm a I'm a sports fan overall. My favorite team is the Lakers, though, right. basketball. So gotcha. I do that. My favorite team is LeBron James. <laughs> and I'm with you. I'm with you, J.S. That's what so I mean. You vibe, brother. We be on the same type of time, man. Don't listen to these LeBron guys. What? If LeBron James gets traded to the Hornets for the whole ride, never wins another game. And he like, I'm going to the Hornets. And he would win. And I would, I would wear blue and, 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 and what's their colors? Teal and white. Blue and purple. Teal and white. Yes, I would sir. wear teal and white. I'm going. And I'm going down to New Orleans to hear them girls say, baby, all of that. Baby. <laughs> baby. Yeah. baby. I'm going to Super Bowl. I'm getting me a New Orleans woman. I know y'all going to be there, so it's going to be cool. I'm going to Super Bowl. I want me a New Orleans woman, Mike. All right. Wait a minute, the Super Bowl's hey, in hey, New Orleans? With, yeah. with Eastside pay for it? I'm going on my own damn time. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to book a couple of uh, shrimp engagements there. for the BBWs. And oh, I'm going to so fund my trip. Excuse me? You heard what I said. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find the club where the BBWs be at, book BBW. a shrimp appointment, and I'm going to pay for my trip that way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sound like a plan, don't it? The BBWs pay money, man. So I told y'all, man. Y'all be trying to go to these bougie women, man. Since Fuck with the big like girls. She they she cool. stay. If she pay like she wish she could stay. John John. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna cook for the boy Damn Little hot towel afterwards and the Big girls Y'all be sleep bro And I feel like They'll feel this way Mike A lot of you men bro Y'all be lying Don't nobody wanna own up to it Mike I guess I'm the only fit guy Who can admit what? I'll like, take a big girl down oh, I don't care about no big girl Okay cool oh, I forgot yeah, to grow me My bad See, yeah. My Ain't fault no discrimination. My bad After 28 We don't give a damn about all that Nah you just gotta have some Hey if they take care of you That's all matters Yes sir uh, My bad y'all no, I gotta speak for Come my big one now. It's tax season Mike Tax season <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get in while I fit in baby <laughs> it's a cold world. Oh, man, I'm trying to look, I'm trying to get these bills paid, baby. I, was, I need help. <laughs> All right, since since Eastside trying to trying to end this on us, like you know, okay, he's our first two hour podcast. Yeah. Off of it. God damn, damn word. All right, All right. Man, really? so we're gonna end this this way. I want since we've been bullshitting half the time. Sure I got I got to I got to end it on something serious. Yeah. <clears throat> so you talked about legacy earlier, right? Yes. Tell me one thing that you want to leave behind before you go. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm going to go last. <clears throat> Education. Mm. Yeah. I want my kids to have, uh, I want my kids to be smart. And I don't mean formal education. I just want them to, have, I want them to be versatile, yeah. versatile. I want them to know that you don't need one avenue to be successful. Yeah. Education. You go, George. Very similar. I tell my kids, you got go to school, learn the school shit, come home, I teach you all the cool shit. So mm, oh, it's I a like project, that. it's something different you're going to do at home. I teach you about the history that I can teach you in school. You read a book. I mean, COVID, they went up three grade levels a piece on each math mm. and reading because I sat down with them and had time to work with them on different stuff that they didn't have, they're not going to have in school. Mm -hmm. And then they go to school, learn something. Daddy, they said this, I don't argue in school, but here's the real about that. Yeah. So just give them that extra advantage so they're never going to be caught off guard or Taking as a sucker or anything like that, because yeah. I don't. You never want to see your kids getting taken advantage of. Yeah, I'm trying to get my kids that heads up, like that leg up in the world. Like, you got the soft skills, you'll stay ahead of the game. Get the formal so you can play the game, mm -hmm. and then put it all together so you can stay in the game. So, let me go last, Mike. All right. I mean, I'm sorry, not last. I'm gonna let no, you go no, last. No, I'll go. I'll go. <clears throat> what I'm gonna leave behind is, especially my kids, it's kind of the same line on same lines, but I want to make sure my kids know they can be successful doing anything, but I want them to be happy doing what they want to do. Like, I don't want them to feel pressured that they got to do something. I want them to be happy. I want them to be successful. And I want them to give back to the community. Mm. That's the three things I really want to leave my legacy behind. Showing them that I tried to do that, so I want them to do that. Yeah. I, because I don't have any children, I would say that you know of. That, mm. No, I'm like, I'm pretty, you know, mm. I, I make sure. I make sure my number's strong. You know what I'm saying? I know when to come up out of there. You know what I mean? I don't really, you know, I don't take no chances. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys. We, well, we're supposed to be talking about legacy. Mike, oh, see, you give me sidetrack. I, I'm sorry. Let me see. My legacy, I was, man, if I could be honest, I want to leave behind. Like, when people think of me, I want them to think of love, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? When they think of John John, I want them to think 
Man, when that motherfucker came in the room, he lit the room up. He put everybody in a good mood. You know what I mean? So, like, because, I mean, that's what I like to do, man. The, the more I'm getting to know myself, I like to make people smile, man. I like to make people have a good time. So, you know, that's kind of what I want to leave behind, If you know, if it stay this way. But if I was to have children, it would be along the same lines of that. I just want my kids to be good people. Because, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I would like to think I'm a good person. And it's gotten me, you know, it's opened so many doors for me. Even meeting you gentlemen, me being a good person, being solid, has gotten me where I'm at now. So, if leave a legacy behind would be love and just treating everybody, you know, how I, how I want to be treated. So Good. I like that. Eastside will skip you. I'm we don't care you. what you want to leave behind, brother. I'm going to leave behind my kids a microphone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Billions. Billions. Hey, long as, long hey, as your long boy as, getting exactly. Long as we. Capital B. We need, I need a capital M. Just leave me a million. We bro. need to quit bullshitting, Eastside. Yeah. Let's go up to these corporate offices and apply some pressure. See, you've been trying to do it the corporate way. Let's do it the BMF way. Oh shit! Yeah, leave me that. out of that one. Hard pass. Right. My bad. <laughs> Hard pass. I watched the last episode the other night. My bad. Ooh, Sorry. <laughs> It was a good-ass episode, my fault. Sorry. All right, so we'll end it there. It was a pleasure having y'all on. We're going to try to do this monthly. It's going to be a little tough with George. So We're we going to do it, bro. George, where you going, bro? You got, got promoted. Don't even I got, treat us the same, I got to huh? go away to the middle of Kansas to do some training, bro. Oh, yeah, no. Four months. What, four Damn. months? Four so. months. Right. I'm not yeah. going there. I'll be no, back. we won't. No, I'll be back. We, we can't weekend. go there. No, no yeah. you can't go you there. You definitely can't go there. They're like, sir. Sir, <laughs> where's shit, sir? Where's I gotta go to base tomorrow. I'm nervous as hell. Goddamn it! This is some nice equipment here. Where'd you get it from? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but hey, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Like I said, try to catch us next month with the same group. We'll have an episode out next week, though. But we're gonna try to keep this going with this bunch. I don't even know what we're gonna call ourselves: Dirty Rice Boys or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no we ain't doing that. Man, right, people, gonna think, people gonna make up stuff. <laughs> let them. There you y'all, go. Yeah, let y'all let us know what what the name of this group should be. The JS Crew. No, not the JS Crew. All right. But hey, I appreciate y'all. Like I said, Strawberry Hill Podcast. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you haven't followed us, please do. And catch us next week. I'm out. Goodbye, everybody.